guys what we're going to do. Bring your green hat. <laughs> Bring your green hat. <laughs> Snoop a loop. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, Kind of, not, not really a game, but just something. We've been talking about leadership, talking about communication, standing up here and speaking to people. So, when you took last in the group. <laughs> um, one of those things, part of leadership and communicating, is be able to think on your toes. Okay, be able to know what you're going to say. I actually, I'll admit, I got completely caught off guard at the gym the other day. I had a member start talking to me about something. I said, "Well, you able to adjust it?" And, she immediately fired back, what does that have to do with this? And I was like, it just completely caught me off guard. And like I and I went through it, and then after I walked away, I said, well, that could have been way better. And that's just my fault for not not being prepared, not being on my toes. So we're gonna come up with a way of preparing you guys for this. So in this bag, I've got three items. I should have stole my items. <laughs> I have three random items. They're going to be completely random every week, whenever we do this. You are going to pick an item out of your bag without looking at it. Once you have it, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to think about that item. You have to find a way to relate that item to chiropractic and the principle. Nice. Okay. And then we're going to give you 30 seconds just to rip it on how that item is related. Okay, so let me uh, pull up this stopwatch for you here. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to run the stop as soon as he pulls it out, you get 10 seconds and then he's just going to rip it on however he, however he can. So he back to pick it up. You're at your dance. Don't worry about where I got the idea from. Oh my Only one. Baseball. Baseball. So you got uh, seven seconds. <laughs> Five, four, and three, two, one, go. Guys, we got a baseball here. <laughs> Obviously, uh, chiropractic fits right into baseball, right? How is the pitcher supposed to throw a 98 mile per hour fastball if he's got subluxation right here at T1, leaning down his arm, not playing to get that uh, that full expression of arm strength that you know that he's been action for his entire life. You gotta remove the interference, you gotta unleash the beast within, you gotta get uh, the power that, that made Stop. the body to uh, strike out the other body. Take it out. sometimes they get messed up and they get short in it. And you have to hold it in the right position so the current can flow through. Well, the spine is sort of like that. If your spine is not misaligned, then your brain cannot communicate properly with your organs, and your phone doesn't die. What it ends up happening is, is that you are the phone, and your organs are the phone, and they tend to just, um, they cause degeneration and disease later on. You'll know how to turn it on, how to turn the DVD player, how to do all the right stuff. And so we want to, as chiropractors, we want to know how the body works, and so that we can address everyone's everyone's needs by just stop. So we will uh, we'll be pulling that out randomly for you guys, just because I think it's. It's a way to get you guys thinking. I know it's something that I need to be working on all the time because you're going to get those random screenings. Patients are going to ask you those random questions if you're not able to 
jump right on that and know what you want to